Starfield is officially out for everybody on Xbox and PC, and since early access started, I've played about 25 hours, dipping my toes into all the game has to offer, but sticking closer to the beaten path of main quests. Which means I haven't completed the main story quite yet, so therefore this review will remain completely spoiler free. Before we begin, I want to make it clear for those already in the comments asking how much I'm being paid by Bethesda, to answer your question, nothing. I'm just a guy on YouTube with less than 500 subscribers who likes to play video games. This review is my opinion alone, but hopefully some of you agree with it, if not, start some conversation in the comments. Good or bad games are subjective. I'll be ranking on a 5 point scale based on my own personal values when it comes to what makes a good game in its own respective genre. All of these factors play into and complement each other to eventually create what I believe is the most important piece of a video game, the atmosphere. Let's begin with the gameplay. To put it simply, it feels like a Bethesda game. If you like Bethesda games, you'll definitely love Starfield. If you're not a fan of Bethesda games, there's a good chance you won't enjoy yourself a ton playing this one. Mainly because of how prominent combat is in this game, and more specifically, gunplay. You shoot a lot of things in Starfield, but thankfully Bethesda has very noticeably improved their gunplay. For the most part, it feels a bit similar to Fallout 4, but rather than implement heavy recoil, tons of bullet spread, and the VAT system to combat the difficulty of certain gunfights, Starfield leans heavily into the futuristic setting by introducing highly advanced weapons that barely move, hence why there is no form of VAT system in this game. The gunplay definitely isn't perfect by any means, but it's absolutely a blast. Speaking of those assistive targeting systems though, flying ships is another area of the game that really shines for me. I won't lie, when I flew a ship for the first time in this game it was a tad overwhelming. There's a lot to take in with the allocation system and the weapon systems, but it's a very quick and minor learning curve that you'll pick right up on and it's definitely a fun one once you get the hang of it. Simply boosting around, getting into dogfights, it feels very satisfying to fly and operate ships in this game. The fact that you can fully customize them and effectively build your own ship is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while, also because of how vast the selection of parts is. There's a ton of content there, and we're just scratching the surface of what this game has to offer. The biggest issue for me, if you can even call it one, is the lack of true space exploration. This seems to be a massive turnoff for people who thought this game was going to be a carbon copy of No Man's Sky. It's not. It's Starfield. Two vastly different games on all fronts except the ones where they're both in space and you can mine things on alien planets. Building outposts has existed in Bethesda games for years too, so there's nothing to really reference copying No Man's Sky in that regard. But rather than fly seamlessly from one planet to the next, you're faced with excruciatingly long, two whole second loading screens between taking off and landing somewhere else. Slightly more realistic approach to space travel, as not every planet is within a less than five minute journey from one another. Not a big deal if you ask me. There's an absurd amount of exploration to be done, even on the most empty planets. Again, definitely a more realistic approach when it comes to planets, and I use the word realistic very lightly because we're talking about a futuristic sci-fi game with interstellar travel, but no, not every planet is going to feature lush landscapes packed with alien creatures. A lot of planets are just barren, uncolonized rock with some abandoned research stations or mines, and they're all littered with minerals to collect and use for crafting things. I really like this, if I'm being honest. In reality, space is a massive, mysterious, and lonely place, and exploring in Starfield really encapsulates that feeling quite well, if you decide to venture to those more empty planets and moons. But, this feeling is really driven home by the music. The music in Starfield is absolutely incredible. Enon Zur comes through with another gorgeous musical score that just fits perfectly and complements every single moment it appears in. I will say it's a tad similar to Fallout 4, but same composer, same triumphant, adventurous concept. It's different enough that it has its own identity for sure, and that identity is simply astonishing. Again, it just, it complements every world you visit in this game, and you will visit many. Other than some of the main hub planets like Jemison, for example, most of the planets in Starfield are randomly generated. But nearly all of them contain multiple biomes to explore, ranging from desert to lush forest on the same planet. 
It honestly makes up for the lack of alien life as there is only life on around 130 of the 1000 planets you can visit in Starfield, but every single planet I've been to so far features some form of structure, occupied or not, that can be looted and some pretty gorgeous landscapes to traverse and explore. The civilized planets in this game, again like Jemison where New Atlantis is and Neon where Neon City is, are just littered with detail and environmental storytelling. There's also just an overwhelming amount of things to do in this game. There's a lot of factions and each of them have many quests and jobs you can do. There's no shortage of hidden lore throughout the game found in certain books or things that are mentioned briefly by NPCs. The game is just packed to the brim with detailed content that'll keep you busy for a very long time. I honestly think that the level design in Starfield is just incredible, and honestly, it almost makes up for its lackluster graphics. I can't sit here with a straight face and tell you that Starfield doesn't have outdated graphics because it does, Bethesda games usually do, but graphics are not everything. Games can be beautiful and outdated graphically. Like Skyrim, for example, outdated because of course it is now 12 years old, but the beauty in Skyrim, in my opinion, doesn't come from its graphics, it comes from its level design. And the same applies to Starfield, because I don't think photorealism was ever an approach they were going for. I believe in the Bethesda art style, and it is stunning here. Where the enthusiasm I have for this game starts to falter slightly is the story. I won't go much into detail as we're avoiding spoilers here, but about 10 hours into the main quests, nothing particularly crazy has happened yet. I will say there's absolutely been some very beautiful moments, the dialogue and acting are very good, and I appreciate how it really does encourage you to explore and sometimes forces you to do that. Following the main quest line so far hasn't felt like a chore at all yet, but rather a reward. Really the only gripe I have with it is the story itself not quite getting me super invested just yet. It is starting to pick up where I am right now though, so my opinion could definitely change. To wrap it all up, the atmosphere is something I haven't felt in a video game since playing Elden Ring for the first time. You're shot out into this massive space and the game really encapsulates that feeling of solitude and loneliness while being on a distant planet especially when you travel alone. But in the cities, especially New Atlantis, it feels very alive and immersive. It almost feels retro-futuristic. Kind of reminds me of Meet the Robinsons, and that's honestly a vibe that I love a lot. But the cherry on top of all of this is that goddamn music from Enon Zur. It evokes this sense of wonder and adventure throughout this entire game and really is the icing on the cake to fully realize the atmosphere of this game and fully immerse yourself in it. I think the atmosphere in Starfield is nothing short of breathtaking. Starfield is an instant classic to me, and I'm so eager to jump back in and see what else the game has to offer. I'll post an updated review once I finish the main quest line and have clocked in some more hours, but until then, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. Totally your call. You can subscribe if you want or don't. You can also turn on notifications so you know exactly when that new review drops once I've finished everything else in the game. Anyway, take it easy. Peace and love.